I don't know what you'd be getting yourself into, Mr. Shaw. You've never experienced boys, have you? Sarge, go see if Salim's at Roy's. I better not let him back in the parlour. Mr. Shaw thinks he's retarded. He is. Well, if Sarge can't scare him off, nothing will. Uh, you better hurry up and get changed. Mr. Shaw's waiting to meet you. And if you're asked what you do at college, you're an engineer who paints engines. Now, to do with me, it was Twitch. You gobby little twat. Well, it's I it, then. But looks dead interesting, that doesn't it, Harry? Yeah, let's have a look at this great work of art, then. <gasps> what do you think? <laughs> what are you going to do with it? I'm not going to do anything with it, Abdul. It's an example of female exploitation in art. It looks disgusting. I wouldn't say that. It's perverted. Not even Twitch would do something like that. It's art, you pillocks. Axe minster, my arse. Oi, you, hurry up with that tea. Your dad's waiting for it. Abdul Tariq Parlour. Will you get changed? You should have been home half an hour ago, Sajid. Where'd you put me fags? I said I was going for me model. Yeah, well, show me later. I haven't got time now. He's got a woman's fanny in a box, man. <laughs> You dirty little bastard. <laughs> Mum, it's art. I'll art you in a minute, you little sod. I'll burn the bleeding thing. Give it here. Art's changed, Mum. Aye, and I'll change it some more when I get my hands on sad. it. Give it me. No, Mum. Let go, you're pulling all the air out. Mum! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Shah. I'm Salim, I'm an art student. Uh, engineer. Up! Uh, what is the sting? Move it! <laughs> Take it away from me! Oh, I'm very sorry, Mr. Shaw. It was an accident. The hair came off in me eyes. Uh, this is an insult to me and my family. How can you let your son behave this way? I will never let my daughters marry into this jungly family of half-breeds. They may be half-bred, but at least they're not inbred like these two monsters. Ella! Never mind, Ella. Who the frick do you think you are, coming here telling me my house isn't good enough for your daughters? Well, your daughters aren't good enough for my sons. Or me house. And if I hear one more word about my family, I'll put that fanny over your bastard head. <laughs> How dare you speak to me like this? You stop now or I'm bloody killing you. I won't stay here a minute longer. Your wife is a disgrace. Oh, sling your bleeding up. Go on, piss off. And take Laurel and bleeding Hardy with you. You bastard bitch. You insulting guest. You bringing shame and family. You ought to be ashamed, George. You're not marrying these lads off. You're selling them to the highest bidder. Who's going to get meaner? Someone with double glazing and a detached house? Oh, why you never bastard? Oh, no, 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 <laughs> I only tried to help you, son. I don't want to bloody hurt you. I love my family. I have to stick up for family when, when people are calling. Go on over to the shop. Go on. I'll see you in a bit. Hello. You should have stopped him from hitting her, Abdul. Leave him out, Mr. Lee. I couldn't hit me, Dad. Dad? That bastard's not a father. Thought about holding him back. You should have broken his what neck. I did or didn't do has got fuck all to do with you, Salim. Feeling guilty now, are you? Oh, just... fucking him, a lot of you. You get up and bleeding nerves. 
I can't do anything to please you. If it's not you, it's your dad. If it's not your, your dad, it's you. You're nothing but bleeding trouble. And Pablo bleeding Picasso. <laughs> that bastard you've been talking about is my husband. And whatever you may think of him, he's still your father. So if I hear another foul mouth word from anyone, I love you. Now, where's Sajit? He's in the shed. He took his parker off, though. Hit me dad with it when he hit you. I don't believe it. I spent a year trying to get him out of that coat. Your dad hits me, he whips it off, tries to kill him with it. <laughs> well, I'll go and have a word with him. She's just going to leave it, isn't she? What else do you expect her to do? She'll let him walk back in here after what he's done. Oh, well, he did after Nazir left, didn't he? So you're just going to sit there with your heads in the sand until it happens no again? No one's hiding. Me mum's just trying to hold her family together. Family? This isn't a family. Normal families sit down and talk. We say one thing out of line, me dad hits us, and that's it. It's not as simple as that, and you know she it. She should divorce You're him. all missing the point. Have you not thought that she might love him? Me dad. <laughs> what else do you think has kept them together for so long? We're the cause of most of the arguments between them, because she always takes our side. What do we do now, Abdul? Try and make things easier for her. Don't make her job any harder than it is. It's me dad that's going to have to change. He was only trying to show us our culture. He's got no right to tell us what our culture should be. He lost that when he settled here and married me man. God, Abdul, you sound that different. Say that when you get married, off. That's not going to happen to her. But it's not going to happen to anyone who doesn't want it. I'm telling you, things are going to be different round here. Okay, now. He's all yours. I'm going to go over and see your dad in a bit. We've got to talk. Will you come with me? Of course I will. Thanks for sticking up for us, ma'am. Go on, you big daft get. Go and take him his coat. Dad, you're still in there. And get stuck. What have I done? You shouted at me for hitting me dad. I know, I'm sorry. Look, come out, I want to talk to you. I only hit him because he hit me, ma'am. He always does it. He, he said he was going to burn the house down. You don't have to worry about that. I won't let him. Here, I bought your parker. Didn't half give him a belt, didn't I? Yeah. Would you want it or what? No. Stick it in the bin then. Abdul? Yeah. Can I have another look at our Salim's model? No. Oh, 